this is Dee and Troy from Mad Max Cars. We're getting ready to ship out a Mad Max Interceptor and a GS Fairmont Barn Find to a client in Texas for his uh, Falcon Museum. We'll give you a little bit of a tour around the cars and you'll get to watch as we load them up and send them off to their new home. Welcome to the show. So this Mad Max Interceptor, unlike most that we work on, is not one that we've built from the ground up. You might recognize this one as the last interceptor to Los Angeles built by Grant and Gordon of Australia. Uh, it came to us with some issues that needed to be straightened out, a few upgrades that the customer wanted done, and uh, some little finishing touches. We'll give you a little quick tour around the car and show you a little bit of what we've done and uh, talk to you a little bit about the car itself. One of the things that we've done is we've changed the zoomies out on the car to these Mad Max 1 style. It had a little bit different zoomies that weren't exhaust tuned like these are. These are a uh, 1 into 4 reverse collector that's set up kind of like a header, just like the original zoomies were, and it's got the correct tips on it for Mad Max 1. Customer wanted those changed, so we did that. We also upgraded the uh, the blue light bracket, we left the original blue light that Grant and Gordon had put on there, but we put our style on there, which is a little bit safer, can be removed instantaneously when a passenger needs to ride in there. We installed a stereo system for the client. So we've done a lot of upgrading under the hood. Not only did we add a uh, high-end aluminum radiator and electric fan setup, we repaired a lot of the wiring, and we, of course, added our electromagnetic clutched serpentine belt drive on-off blower system to replace the electric motor that was in here originally. We also added a movie correct sounding air horn and uh, moved the siren around so it was uh, not catching so much dirt behind the grill. Did a lot of things under the hood, really spiffed it up, tuned it up, uh, put a different carburetor on it, put a different electronic ignition on it, uh, chromed components, miniaturized components that are all part of our serpentine belt drive system. In any case, yeah, this is a Grant and Gordon build, a little unusual for us, but definitely shipping out to the client who's going to uh, enjoy it a whole lot, I'm sure. So, new life for the last V8 to California, now headed on its way to a museum in Texas. Well, it was here the car participated in the 10th annual 2016 Road War Northwest event. This car is a true barn find. You'll see this in our barn find video. The link is in the description section below. Discovered in Australia, stored in a paddock barn in the outback for 21 plus years. It's a true time capsule of how it was when it was stored away. Still got the original interior, is still in great shape, original motor, numbers matching. We've rebuilt a lot of parts of this car mechanically, but as you can see on the outside, not a whole lot has changed. The customer wanted it to retain its barn find appearance both inside and out. It does have an LP or propane system in it as well, which we refurbished along with total rebuild of the motor, transmission, rear end, brakes, and all the mechanical systems, while retaining its original barn find appearance inside and out. So when you look at it, you might think that this is still as it was 21 years ago. It had some different seats in it, but it came with its original seats, which we put back in. It had a crazy steering wheel on it, but it came again with its original steering wheel, so that got put back on. Uh, it has its original radio. It's an original select air car, so it's got some really nice options. It's a Walnut Glow GS Fairmont. And again, this car is on its way to Texas to go into the Falcon Museum there that's just starting up. As you can see, we've tried to keep the original look and patina under the hood as much as possible while sprucing it up and maintaining its integrity and getting it all functional and reliable for daily driving. There you can see the propane system, the AC has been rebuilt, the motor of course has been rebuilt from the ground up, braking system has been redone. So everything is looking real good under here, functionally very nice but still maintaining its original patina, original radiator, original AC condenser, and all the original propane parts. Alright, well I have to say this has been one of my favorite cars. Oh, I love this car, I hate to see it go but 
does have to go to its owner. So, sorry to see you go, Grumpy, but man, I love you. One of my favorites. saying hope you enjoyed the load up video and uh, Mike hope you enjoy the new cars catch us next time